What's going on guys, Greg here. And today we're just gonna talk about the volume envelope, the pitch envelope, and the velocity module in battery four. Uh, these are the first three things you'll see on the main screen. And in the volume envelope, you can turn it on and off with these power buttons. This is the same for pretty much everything with a power button. You have the option to keep on and off, but you can turn it on and off with this power button. And over in the right hand corner, you see these two different envelopes here. This one is called the AHD, it's just attack, fold, and decay. It's built more for one shots. Um, I guess the developers of Native Instruments, they felt like there were two different trains of thought when editing ADSR, and I think they nailed it. Like, this is great for kicks, uh, it simplifies everything. Um, and this guy has a lot more options, the attack, hold, decay, sustain, and release. And this is great for things with sustain, that's why they threw it back in. So um, just to give you an idea of what each one does, I'll go and I'll pull up this little kick here and just kind of start to bring up the hold. You can hear that transient coming through. Cool. So, you know, you really don't need any decay on this. You really don't even need that much hold. Four seconds of hold. But you get the idea. Um, let's see, go to this guy here. Now, I, I did something a little different to demonstrate decay and sustain and the relationship between the two in this one. Um, if you'll notice, it goes from really loud to really soft pretty quickly. That little tail, that. And it, it, it's kind of smooth right now, but if I turn the decay down, it just sounds weird. You know, actually it might be cool, kind of a little like you're sucking in effect, but yeah, and decay really smooths out the descent from that hold level, and um, I suppose I should discuss what that does. Uh, the attack is how long it takes for your envelope to reach its max level, and the hold is how long it's going to stay at that max level. The decay is how long it's going to take for your envelope to get from the max level to the sustain level. And the release is how long it's going to take for your envelope to get from the sustain to zero, back to no sound. So, I mean, the relationship between uh, hold, decay, sustain, and release is pretty important. I mean, all of them are important, but you really want to get it right on this guy. Or else it's just going to sound kind of weird. Uh, moving on to the pitch envelope here, they have the same setup. You have one option with a lot of options and another more simple options. So this just selects the amount of pitch or the really the range you want to uh, set for your pitch bend. And the first decay is going to adjust the time it takes to get to the peak. The break is going to set the level or the peak and the decay too is going to er, adjust how long it takes for your pitch bend to get to the top of the envelope while it's breaking or decay one and then decay two is going to affect how long it takes for the pitch to get back down to normal or zero um, this is just one envelope you have one pitch amount that you can set and then one decay knob very simple so the velocity module had some, it's a pretty interesting concept. If this is turned all the way down, it doesn't matter how hard I hit the key or it, it doesn't matter. It's always going to be at 100% volume. And if it's turned up to 100%, this actually translates the input or velocity input of you hitting the key into a volume. And uh, that's how you get your really light hits to your more aggressive hits. And they took the same approach with pitch. They usually defaults to off though, because if you turn it all the way up, hear how it's a much higher pitch now? And as I get lighter, it lowers the pitch. And that goes up 12 semitones. Um, I think this could be used really creatively and interestingly if you did it right, but um, I never run into a uh, situation where I've seen this. It's a really cool concept though. So guys, uh, uh, again, always another quick video. I try and keep it quick. I'm going to go over the rest of the main tab 
in the next video. So stay tuned. Hope to see you again. And guys, as always, happy producing.